start there. Knowles is in the lead. Oh! Somebody out on the outside. Oh, man, that is Steve Taylor. We saw him, uh, we talked about him being very good in the first two rounds of qualifying. Fell off a little bit in the third round. And it oh, and what a move by Almasalo. Almasalo taking over position right now. Extra prospect to second. So Skadu, we knew it'd be a tough track, Omasalo. And where's our points leader? Blair Morgan is paddling oh. back in the back. He goes down. And Morgan, our series points leader, oh, he's not going to like this. He's going to lose him if he stays where he's at. And almasalo has been the guy who's been closing it up on Blair a little bit. He now leads. What happened to Morgan there? How many times can you say about Blair Morgan that he ran a foul of gravity? Normally he just sort of goes up and over that law of physics. Not today. Didn't help him out that time. You see the yellow flag. We've had it throughout the series. If you make a pass on the yellow flag, you are docked. And we have one rider down right there, so everybody has to stay behind the rider in front of him. DJ Ekstrom, there's a tear off. He didn't wipe. He actually went for a clear lead. Robbie Malinowski, number 781, moves up through the field. Carl Cooster now closing in behind him. Well, Cooster's right there, and boy, Cooster, what a, what a nice move by Carl. Malinowski looked like he was in bumper cars right there, having a, a tough time getting by Brad Pitlick on the outside. Made a little sandwich. By the way, Robbie's nickname is the Thrasher, but I'll tell you what, he's got a long way this year. And Sean, oh, oh, man! <laughs> You run it in any deeper than that. And I'll tell you what, Carl Booster is absolutely hooked up and on the move. He may be the fastest guy on the track right now. I would have to say so. Carl Booster has moved his way up. He was in one, he was in seventh spot on that first lap, it looked like, or the first half of the lap, and he has moved up to the number three position. And number 27 looking for another win this year, and Tommy is. He's a bull of a rider, and this is a bull of a track, and look at him having to power through it. You see it, he just, the rhythm is not there in those whoops anymore for really anybody, and for Tommy, no worries. Tough it out, big win. The Formula XPS, Gadu takes his second win of the year, and he is pumped right now. Congratulations from DJ Extra. You know what, Greg Kramer? If it weren't for those first two rounds in Duluth and in Winnipeg, Tommy Almasala would probably be our points leader right now. After those first two bad stops, he has been no tough to beat. Tommy Almasala, DJ Extra, and Carl Kuster are your top three. Robbie Malinowski, another top five, his fourth of the year. 16 lap final. Here we go one more time, and we will see that new sled in action. the tension with a knife, it's a tight course, and somebody goes off the track. Kurt Crapo starts at the back. Oh, the luck continues after that phenomenal run in qualifying. All goes wrong at the start of the big final, but Steve Taylor is the guy who absolutely ripped the whole shot, Robbie. He's into the early lead. Now keep in mind, this is the first pro final he's ever made. Steve Taylor, we haven't seen him throughout the year. His first pro final, and oh, he's not going to make too many more if he keeps facing jumps like that. What's his story? We haven't seen him in the final. Well, obviously, he at Vernon last year had that horrific head injury in the incident, then came back to Duluth this year healthy, decided to step up to pro, promptly re-injured a collarbone, didn't come back until Winter X, and just really the last couple of races uh, that rust and, and uh, inactivity has come off, and Levi has come up big time. Ryder down, and he was in second spot. Levi Lavalle, the team industry's Polaris. Man, he's shaking that Red Bull helmet right there. That'd not be a little funny right there. That was a hard get off, and he was out in front. It's one of those awkward get offs, and usually that means that, like he's shaking that head still, it whacks you around. And watch this. Gets it yawed over to the side. That messes up his balance right there. He eats the bars. Lucky for him, he actually got thrown a little bit clear because that sled could have rolled over on top of him. I don't know if that was a high side or a low side. You see him shaking his head. Usually that means a melon thumper. You usually tap your helmet. He didn't do the case. He did a full-on fire drill. Stop, drop, and roll. Right. I think the reason he was shaking the helmet was because he got loaded up with snow and the goggles <laughs> and everything. He was trying to clear that. There's his teammate, Gula, still in the top five. TJ Gula in that four spot behind Brad Pitlick. It's Blair Morgan. In the number two spot, Gula trying to uh, help the team out a little bit, and oh, just cruised it right by. That Polaris had all kinds of hookups. Absolutely, and I'll tell you what, TJ Gula has been an absolute revelation again this season. We know he's good, but when you start the season without even a full-time ride in the national championship, and then literally earn it, 
through your performances. And I mean, TJ's doing some incredible stuff on this sled right now. Oh, five! Man. You want to talk about tight racing? That was five sleds, folks. And they're all duking it out for the same spot. They're all chasing Taylor. But nonetheless, that is incredibly close racing. A little tear up. Whoa. No, actually a little wipe. He had plenty of time through sailing. When you're not crossed up, you know, it's a lot easier to do that. When you're swapping around, you never want to let go of the bars. That sled is tracking straight. Oh. Extra. Extra goes down. Points are just being counted off by the second. Oh. And the kid out of Prince George, British Columbia, is going to take his first Pro Open win. And he does it wow. in convincing style. Oh, man, how happy is he? And a little puff of smoke, but at the right time, he cased it so hard. Look at the joy on this kid's face. And once again, keep in mind, this is the first pro final he ever made. Last year was a semi-pro, went pro, full pro, not hybrid this year, and ends up with a win. And look who's coming up behind him. That's Blair Morgan. Watch for this reaction. Oh, look at Blair. He's loving it. Steve Taylor, the first win. Gula, very impressive. Another podium takes second spot. And teammate Blair Morgan rounds out the podium and gets more points. Big surprise for everybody, including you, Steve Taylor, taking it here in the mod final. And of course, leading Blair Morgan, your boss, just smoked him out. But talked earlier, you said you have problems in your back and it makes your arm hurt. What's wrong with your spine? Let me know. I got a nerve in my C6, my neck, and it kind of pinches out when I land hard and stuff like that. And it actually it was getting pretty numb during that race, but I was just had the lead and I was so excited that I just blocked it out. And just. Gave it 100%.